already. And here we go. So we were talking to this woman. Right. Look at girl. E. Uh, not one of the better portraits that they've done in there. EGA times, uh, I gotta say. Okay, that's enough of that. Talk to girl. Talk about date. Uh, ask girl out to dinner. Ask girl out. Girl for date. Please, she says, I hardly know you. Uh, so I guess that's not going to go so well. All right, let's have a look around this room. There's a picture of a humla mungunk lapwa on the wall. That's cool. They keep the keys in these boxes. There's a tropical fern in the corner of this room. There's a flower centerpiece on the table. Look at girl. There's a beautiful young lady at the table. Talk to girl. She obviously has nothing to say as she completely ignores you. Ah, oh, jeez, that's rough. Uh, so we're right next to the Chi Chi bar. And over here we have No Sinky Dingy Transportation Service. No Sinky. Mm hmm. That's, uh, sometimes the Sierra humor can be a little, uh, off putting, shall we say. No sinky. Oy. Just turn that down a little. That tune is uh, pretty hideous. And so, yes, here we are on the beach. In lovely, lovely um, Tahiti. So, um, you'll notice that uh, the setup of the story involves uh, the Russians and the United States having uh, uh, disputes over oil and other things. It's supposed to take place, I think, in the year 2000. Uh, so you might say, hey, weren't the Russians economically ravaged by that time? Oh. And yes, yes, they were. But uh, this game was made in 1990, which was before, I believe, the fall of the Soviet Union by like eight months. And uh, right after the... Uh, breaking down of the Berlin Wall, so I guess they weren't expecting that uh, Russia actually wouldn't be a superpower, and the USSR would be no more, so uh, unfortunately, the the future, well, I guess it's maybe good, but the future predicted here did not happen. Actually, let's look around first. It's the door to your hut, number six. A hut window. A hut window. Look, forest. This is plain old South Pacific native island vegetation. Nice. Look, beach. We should be close to Johnny's hut. Oh. Look, sky. You look up and are amazed by the beauty. I don't even remember the name of the character in this game. I guess it's Johnny. I don't think it says anywhere in the... Yeah, it doesn't say anywhere in the manual what your name is. Open door. Oh, gosh darn it. Uh, control S, current speed, two. Sorry, I totally forgot to get the key. But this will just take a second. Almost there. There's that lady who didn't talk to us. Open door. Take room key. 
Yes, sir, she says. Here you are. There you go. Oh, God. I don't know why, but I hate that tune. I, I, I Yeah. Well, I think I know why, because it's about two chords long, and it's awful. Well, there's that blonde girl. Okay. Open door. Look. Look at room. Look room. Look hut. Ugh, no, okay. You see a picture of fish on the wall. Your bed. Uh, a lamp. It's your phone. A cheap rug made of obviously synthetic material. Through the glass floor, you can see the beautiful Tahitian sea life. You see the unopened left side of your closet. That's where you keep your clothes. All right, so let's uh, open drawer. Look, see your ID card and some change. Look, uh, let's take ID card. Take change. Read ID card. Look at ID card. Your Navy ID card. Um, there you are. And now we can get out of this room. Oh, hey. Look, beach. Talk to girl. Look at blonde. This blonde is definitely a babe. Oh yeah, there's the great CR art there. I kind of like that portrait actually. So, um, a word about swimming in Sierra games. I don't know if you've played a lot of them. When you play Sierra games, avoid swimming unless you really have to go swimming, because when you go swimming, you die. Uh, there might be sharks, there might be some rocks, there might be an undertow. It's never good. Buy paper. Uh, you deposit 50 cents, remove a copy of the paper. Reading the front page, you learn that the Cold War between the USSR and the United States is beginning to heat up. Yeah. The Russian-supported radical terrorist group led by Jahara Khomeini Sieb Abdul is taking the United States ambassador to, to the Middle East as hostage. You further learn that the terrorist group is demanding $10 million ransom in order to purchase arms. If the demand is not met, within 30 days the ambassador will be shot through the head and his body dumped in front of the U.S. Embassy. In response to the Soviet naval build of the Mediterranean, the United States has ordered the Seventh Fleet into the area. The President has vowed that the ambassador is not released unharmed within a reasonable amount of time. The United States will not hesitate to take an aggressive military stance against the cowardly perpetrators. After reading this paper and discarding it, you think to yourself, this is really something. After just a short time of military leave, the whole world goes to pot. Wow. It's, uh, it's quite the setup. Alright, take off shirt. Let's go swimming. And since, uh, yes, it's a Sierra game, we're going to save our game. Uh, going swimming. There, we're going for, oh, it kind of looks like Rosella swimming. Look, ow, oh, ow, oh, the hell is that? Oh, 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 gee. We start, restore at least once more. Three exclamation marks. You've overestimated your strength and can't tread water any longer. Ah, jeez. Okay, well, let's go swimming some more. Ooh, am I going to join this game? You bet I am. 
we'll uh, save over this. In the next episode.